Hey guys, Jack Dragonfly here. Now everyone knows the more famous dinosaurs. T-Rex, Velociraptor, Stegosaurus, Brontosaurus, and so on. But there are loads of other dinosaurs out there. Over 900 confirmed species to be in fact. And with all the different varieties out there, there are bound to be some strange ones. So for this video, I've decided to count down the 10 dinosaur species that I believe have the absolute weirdest names. And I'm not going to waste any time, so let's just get right on to it. Supersaurus. If Superman ever had a pet dinosaur, this would be the one. This relative of Diplodocus lived in North America during the late Jurassic period, around 150 million years ago. The name of course means super lizard, as this giant behemoth could weigh up to 40 tons and reach lengths of over 100 feet, sometimes even more. If that's not super, I don't know what is. Drinker. One of the easiest ways to name an animal, or anything in general, is just to name it after yourself. Although this dinosaur's name makes it sound like it should be going non rounds with Jose Cuervo, it's actually a reference to Edward Drinker Cope, a famous American paleontologist who was well known for the Bone Wars. Drinker was a small herbivore that existed around the same time and place as Supersaurus in North America during the late Jurassic period. Aerodactylus. So there's this popular franchise called Pokemon. Ever heard of it? Of course you have. Well this pterosaur actually got its name from the Gen 1 Pokemon, Aerodactyl. The name is actually a perfect fit, as Aerodactylus translates to Windfinger. Aerodactylus was a small pterodactyl from late Jurassic Germany that likely hunted insects and maybe even small fish. Bambi Raptor. Naming a dinosaur after a Pokemon makes sense. Scientists are nerds, after all. But what about naming one after a Disney character? Bambi Raptor was the tiny cousin of Velociraptor that lived in North America during the Cretaceous period. Its name, of course, comes from the 1942 Disney animated film Bambi, in reference to its small size. Irritator. Now, we all have things that annoy us, right? From the kids that won't shut up to the birds that wake you up at 3 a.m. And no dinosaur irritated scientists more than the one and only Irritator. This cousin of Spinosaurus lived in Brazil during the early Cretaceous period. Now, the original fossil had actually been augmented by illegal fossil collectors, forcing scientists to repair it painstakingly, which bothered them so much that they decided to just call it Irritator. You gotta love a scientist with a sense of humor. Minmai. While it might sound like a prehistoric version of Mini-Me, this cousin of Ankylosaurus was actually named for the Minmai crossing in Australia, close to where it was found. The meaning of the word Minmai has actually been debated for some time, with some believing it refers to a species of flower, or even some kind of spirit. But regardless, Minmi was a small armored herbivore that used its bony plates for defense. And Minmi actually held the record for the shortest dinosaur name in history, but it was later dethroned by another dinosaur that might be on this list. What about the longest dinosaur name? Well... Micropachycephalosaurus. Whew! This guy holds the record for the longest dinosaur name. Its full scientific name alone has 37 letters total. Though, the longest name of all animals belongs to the black soldier fly, and I'm not even going to try to say that. Now, with a name like Micropachycephalosaurus, you'd think it'd be related to Pachycephalosaurus. But in reality, there's actually a basal ceratopsian, making it more related to horned dinosaurs like Triceratops, and was found in Asia. Yeah, I'm going to let this name just speak for itself. Some dinosaurs have names that are hard to pronounce. This one is just infuriating. So, apparently it's pronounced Piotnitskisaurus and was named after a famous geologist. This carnivore, a megalosaurid, lived in South America during the Jurassic period, and grew to around 20 feet long. Ponty Draco. Okay, I don't know what the paleontologist who named this thing was smoking, but it sounds life-changing. Ponty Draco was a prosauropod from the late Triassic, making it the ancestor of the giant long-necked dinosaurs like Brachiosaurus. 
This herbivore is actually not named after women's lingerie, but actually after the quarry it was found in, alongside the Latin word for dragon, Draco. But with a name like that, and only grown to around 10 feet long, it wouldn't be a very intimidating dragon. Before we unveil our top pick, let's go through some honorable mentions. Lylanosaura. Lylan, guess what? Daddy named a dinosaur after ya. Gossasaurus. Well, now I know who ate all the taquitos. Medusa Ceratops. Don't look into its eyes, or you'll be fossilized. Hippo Draco. First panties and now a hippo. This is a dragon for every occasion. Gojirasaurus. Oh no, there goes Tokyo. City Patty. Sounds like a setup to a really bad sandwich. Papasaurus. Okay, so where's Mamasaurus? Alright, so there's some pretty crazy dinosaur names out there, but none of them take the cake like this one. Yay. I'm not kidding, that's its whole name. Just YI. Yay. Not only is the name strange, but just look at this thing. What even is it supposed to be? Well, apparently it's a variety of small feathered dinosaur that's native to China. Its name means strange wing, and I can understand why. I would gladly check into a mental hospital if I looked outside and saw a little chicken bat go flying overhead. Now, as you can see, the will of the dinosaur is its fair share of freaks, and this is just a small sampling of the unusual prehistoric beasts out there. So feel free to post any strange names you know of in the comment section down below. But as for now, I'm Jack Dragonfly, and I hope to see you all again next time. And don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and all that good stuff.